To write the name for CuBr2, first we need to recognize we have this transition metal here and then a nonmetal. So we're going to treat this as an ionic compound. First, we're going to write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Cu, that's copper. Next, we'll write the name of the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So Br, that's bromine, so we'll write bromine with a lowercase b. Once we've done that, we're going to replace this ending here, this I-N-E. We're going to replace that with I-D-E. That gives us copper bromide is the name for CuBr2. But copper is a transition metal, so we need to show the charge of copper in the name. So we know that bromine is 1 minus, and we have two of them. That's 2 minus. The copper has to be 2 plus. So we'll write a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses in the name. So that makes the name for CuBr2 copper 2 bromide. We have the 2 here because of the 2 on the copper. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.